Hello. I am so glad that you could be here today. My name's Rich, the channel's called New Memphis, and today we've gathered here to worship the Lord of Change, the God of Ancient Mysteries, Zinch. We have seven Fallen Guardsmen from the Blackstone Fortress box set, one Enforcer from the Blooded Kill Team set, and one Corrupted Ogryn, also from the Blooded Kill Team, both of which have some light kit bashing to them. All nine of our models today have signed their pact in the ancient grimoire. Though of course we all know there really is only one deal that Zinch actually gives out. In true monkey's paw fashion, Zinch gets to own your immortal soul and press you into service as he quests the cosmos for forbidden knowledge, and you get to eat shit. But the contracts have been signed nonetheless, and we've got some models to paint. By the way, thank you to everyone who has subscribed so far, and if you haven't subscribed, well you totally should. We're building a pretty fucking awesome community here. Please leave a comment or a like below if, and only if, you like the video and you want to see it promoted to other people. The algorithm does like to throttle small channels after all. Otherwise, join me in cracking open a heresy beer or your personal beverage of choice, and let's get started on the paint job. It's like the first day of summer, so I wanted to go with the summer shandy, and I hoped this would be a, a fun yellow, you know, for, for doing zinch. Kind of looks like piss. It's good piss. These models are the third set of Blackstone Fortress Guardsmen we've painted, initially primed in black with a blast of gray from the top. We also base coated the skin in white last week, along with the bases. This week we're going to jump in straight to a base coat of London Gray for the metals. I tried using this on the saw blade of our Mr. Handy a few weeks ago, and I really liked how it turned out, so I'm curious to see how it looks on a, on a much larger scale. We're going bold in this paint scheme, so we'll use royal blue for the enforcer's jacket. And then Vallejo emerald for the guardsman's armor and the enforcer's chest piece. Next up, one of my frequent go-tos for straps and belts, Black Red. Since the rest of the model is going to use very bright colors, I thought we would use a subdued earth tone, German Extra Dark Green for the boots. Not that you're surprised if you watch this channel enough, I love this color. It, it's, it's everywhere. It's just everywhere. Okay, now we're getting to the fun stuff. To create some amazing contrast, we're going to use gold for the secondary metallic pieces, like the chainmail, trinkets, and the metal sections of the guns. The rest of the gun is supposed to be made of wood, yes, even the flamethrower, hilariously. While I would normally use a reddish brown on anything wood to provide contrast with how much green and blue these models are using, these are Zinch models after all. So let's get bold and use flat red to really make them stand out. We are changing up the secondary colors this week. For the fabrics, we'll be using our usual Nurgling Green. 
but also Phoenician purple, which I don't think I've gotten to use on this channel yet. So, you know, that's cool. And with that, our base coats are done. Yes, they look a bit silly, but if you think my painting is crazy, you haven't seen anything yet. Because we're going to mix up a wash of Vallejo Black Red for these models. Everyone always calls me crazy for not washing absolutely everything in black. Bear with me, guys. It's all gonna work out. I have a little faith. Here they are once they had dried overnight. And once they've sat for long enough, we can move on to a round of highlights with our original base colors. I will admit, I struggled for a long time thinking what I wanted to do with this Ogryn. I could have done some highlights of white on the muscles, but he would have basically looked the same as the one we did last week. So I thought to myself, this is a Zinch model. I want him to look like he is bursting with energy, just practically molten. I've only tried this technique a few times, and it has not always worked out in my best interest. But if there's one piece of advice that I, more than anything, want to be able to pass along through this YouTube channel, it's this. There is exactly one way to get better at something. And that's by doing it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give this a shot. So cross your fingers. Or don't. I mean, you've seen the thumbnail. So. To start with, I'm going to base coat the skin yet again with white. It's okay if it's streaky. We have a lot more layers to go. As soon as that's done, I mixed Vallejo Amaranth Red with water until it pooled very heavily in the cracks. No matte medium to dull the wash this time. After that, we'll color each and every muscle with black red, leaving only the deepest recesses unpainted. Phoenician Purple is next, painting just a bit less of each muscle.
and then our royal blue. I did use some black wash on the clothing, furs, and around the enforcer's skull just to tone down the red. The last step is just a few highlights of white and azure, but, you know, I have to save something for the big reveal. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. Your votes on the community tab have been taken into account, and next week we'll be painting our necromantic gene stealers. Thank you to everyone who voted, by the way. Cheers to you, my friends, and let's check out the final product. we feel about this project in the end? I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with it actually. I did not expect that uh, volcanic ogrin to turn out so well. I am, uh, I am, I am quite pleased. The emerald and black red combination was way better than I thought it would be. It surprised even me. I know, it sounded crazy. Somehow it worked, but I guess that is sort of the philosophy of a new Memphis. I'd rather, we, would rather try something new, do something bold, do something that's different, that's outside of our comfort zone, something that might even look initially insane, if it means that in the end, we get to do something that's different, something that's new, something that is, once again, bold, and something that's going to I don't want to say garner attention, it kind of makes me sound like a whore, but yeah, garner attention. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the project. I am quite satisfied with it, and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for your help in accomplishing this. You guys are amazing, and I'll see you in the next one. I didn't even finish my beer. Fuck! All right, sec. Wait, 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 wait.
I will see you in the next one.